What is up guys and we are back with another video. Ever since this game dropped, my goal was to max out every single Archon that releases. And with all this free time that we had with all these reruns before Inazuma dropped, I went ahead and farmed Ley Lines every single day and I finally did it, I triple crowned my Venti as well as my Zhongli. But what we're focused on in this video is going to be Venti. And honestly, the reason I was holding off on Venti was because I just couldn't bring myself to level up his auto attacks. But then I finally pulled the trigger. I was like, you know, I got to do it. Because if I just leave it at one, it's just not going to look aesthetic. You know, that 10, 13, 13, it just looks so beautiful. And that's what this video is going to be about. Today, I'm going to be turning Venti into the next Ganyu. And I say that with confidence, but I know this is not going to work at all. But you know, since I maxed out Venti and I maxed out his basic attacks, why not try it out? And especially considering I have C1, so I get two additional arrows, I want to see how hard my Venti's auto attacks can hit. So I'm going to be calling this build the shotgun Venti build where I just spam my three arrows and see how hard I can hit. And in order to do this, I'm going to be running a four piece retracing bull light as well as the skyward harp. So this is basically a main DPS charge attack spam Venti. Probably not going to work, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. And these are my overall stats right here. I have 2k attack, I have 60% crit rate and 186% crit damage, as well as a good amount of energy recharge. And what I'm actually going to do is after I test out this wacky build, I'm going to switch over to a regular main DPS Venti build and see how well that actually performs. Especially considering I have my E ability maxed. And if you guys don't know, Venti's E ability actually has insane scaling. It only has a six second cooldown, but it does like 600% damage. And if you hold it, it has a longer cooldown, but it still does 800% damage, right? And just for comparison, Zhongli's max pillar does 1,084% damage with a 12 second cooldown. And Venti's E ability, since it has a six second cooldown, I can cast it twice, meaning it actually has higher scaling than Zhongli's burst which is pretty crazy to think about. So first, let's go ahead and see how much our charge attacks actually do. And in order to do that, I'm gonna slap on Zhongli's shield. I mean, our E ability is still hitting 23K considering we have a retracing bolide charge attack set, but let's go ahead and look at our auto attacks. Oh my God, how much was that? I can't even tell because they're, all the numbers are so close together. I can't even tell how much we're doing. I'm pretty sure that's like 20k charge attacks, right? It's like 14, 3. Honestly, I, I... Oh my god, I accidentally killed it. I'm a fool. So you know what? Let's just ignore our normal Ruin Guard and run around Mondstadt and show him who the true Archon of Mondstadt is. Ouch, that hurt. I'm trying to get an idea of... So basically... Okay, so the thing with this is you basically... So the thing with his C1 ability is you basically have to be right next... Oh, oh my god. Okay, so basically the thing with the C1 is you have to be right next to them in order for all three arrows to hit. And this is without Zhongli's shield. So this is just base Venti. So he did, I want to say 17k damage against this guy. So let's go ahead and put on Zhongli's shield and do that Anemo. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But a 31k E ability is actually pretty crazy. Again, I'm not using any Anemo damage bonus. I'm literally just using... A retracing bolide set so yeah that's pretty insane okay now that i have a good idea of the numbers let's go ahead and jump into the abyss and see how much damage we can do and honestly i'm just gonna slap in pyro resonance as well as bennett and we'll see how much damage we do without bennett as well as with bennett all right i have high hopes for this especially with bennett let's go ahead and see how we do uh let me make them jump to me because that's the best bet might as well just throw out my skyward sonnet as well Oh wait, I need to use Bennett, and then let's go ahead and do it. So 26k plus 8.6k. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. I don't want to quickly do the math because I'm just focused on shotgunning these guys down. The thing is, I just have to charge it, and obviously it's not as fast as uh, Gan Yu's, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. How did I miss three bullets and it just went right through them? I have no idea. The only downside is you got to be like right next to these guys. Uh, which is not the wisest thing to do because these guys do hurt. But good thing I have retracing bolide, so it works out for me. And I'm still doing 30k with my E abilities, which is which is kind of crazy. Let's go shotgun Venti. Show him what you got. Show him who the true Anemo Archon is. Or I mean, he's the only Anemo Archon. What do I mean? Okay, so Anemo Venti, aka Shotgun Venti, 
actually works pretty well. I'm doing like 42k charge attacks with Bennett's burst up. Obviously, I can't trigger reactions, so I can't get those Ganyu-like numbers. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and try a physical shotgun venti. So I went ahead and switched it to a physical damage cup. This does change my stats slightly because my substats are different. My attack drops to like 1900, but my crit rate crit damage goes to 200% and 70%. And this time, instead of running it with Bennett, I'm going to go ahead and run it with Fischl and Rosaria for Superconduct. Okay, this time around, it's going to be a lot harder because I have to get Superconduct down and I have to worry about rotations, unlike the last one. But on the bright side, I don't have to hold my charge attack. I can just keep spamming it over and over. So that is a plus, but let's go ahead and see how we do. Okay, obviously it's not as strong, but we can just keep spamming it. Let's go. Shotgun Venti doing work. Wait, that's actually an insane amount of damage if you think about it. I can't see the numbers, but it looks like a lot. Like, look how fast we can spam this. You guys have heard of Machine Gun Fischl, but Machine Gun Venti? Look at that. <laughs> It's actually, wait, I think we did better with physical machine gun venti than we did with Ganyu Animo venti. Oh my god. Okay, so I did not expect much from the physical shotgun version of venti, but I'm proud to say I think we've broken the meta. Physical, bow, spam, venti, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I went ahead and switched to the regular main DPS venti build using two-piece glad and two-piece Animo. This is basically what you would run on a Shao. And again, the only reason we're doing this is because we're getting this insane scaling on our E. Because you guys saw, even with our retracing Bolide build, we were hitting upwards of 40k with our E ability on a 6 second cooldown. Which is insane, if you guys think about it. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to be running Mona and Bennett using that Mona and Bennett cheese. And again, none of these builds are meant to be built. This is just me messing around, having fun with my maxed out Venti, because I wasted so much resources trying to get him. But yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So let's see how much damage we can do with our E ability and everything. Let's do E ability by itself. 9k, that was disappointing. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, I meant to use... Uh... Dang, 60k E abilities. That's pretty insane. So we just did 120k with just Venti's E abilities. Again, and then even without any Bennett buff, we're doing like 40k. So obviously this build is way stronger than the other two in terms of damage output. Like even our non-crits are doing 13k. And the cool thing is we're doing it with just a press E, which is a 60, or not 60, a 6 second cooldown. Like look at that, 40k with just Zhongli shield. That's, that's just crazy. And even our like Anemo swirls are doing like 6k damage per swirl. Oh my god, dude, the damage on this thing. I missed the auto attack spam. Honestly, the auto attack. I know it's not that high. I thought it was 7k damage. It's actually only 700. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's insane damage. And honestly, this floor should be a cakewalk for Venti because he's a CC god, and with the bonus damage he's doing now. Oh my god, 55k E abilities. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is actually so fun. And please ignore my Shangling's 4k spins. I know Shangling's the meta right now, but I just don't have her built and I have no artifacts on her. So please don't roast me, meta slaves. Um, I promise the next time you guys see her, she's going to be amazing. But right now, this is Venti's time to shine. And I'm not standing in Bennett's circle for some reason, but you know, it's fine because... I'm about to end these guys right here. 80k. Wait, that was with nothing. That was just Venti by himself. I don't think Bennett's circle was there. Okay, so this is the floor I think we're going to struggle with. And that's because these guys have shields. And it's not so much a damage DPS check than it is like a how can you break the shields check. So, you know, we're going to try our best. We're going to see what happens. Our best bet is just try to swirl Pyro as many times as we can. And then just hope for the best. See how fast we can break it. I mean, just I just love seeing the venti E damage because it happens every six seconds, like, and the swirl damage is insane too.
And honestly, wow, we did that in like less than a minute. Well, that was so quick. So there we go, a three-star clear. Wow. And honestly, guys, my first team with main DPS Venti cleared like a hundred times faster than my second team. And that's because of just how much damage this guy does. And again, I'm not using like a Refinement 5 weapon. It is a Skyward Harp, but it's not Refinement 5 at all. So this video was all over the place. We started off testing out Ganyu, Shaka, and Venti. And it was actually really fun. We hit pretty hard. We hit almost upwards of 45, 50k with our charge attacks. With Bennett's Burst, obviously. Obviously, it's nothing compared to actual Ganyu. who hits like 100k with her regular charge attack and her bloom damage. Then we switched to a physical shotgun Venti build, which was so much fun. Oh my god, the spamming of the auto attacks was insane. And then we switched to the regular main DPS maxed out Venti. And oh my god, we were hitting so hard with our E ability. We hit upwards of 100k. We were doing like 60k every E ability without Bennett Burst or anything. Just 60k raw, which is insane. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this fun video, put it together because I leveled up Venti. I'm going to be doing the same thing with Zhang Li because he's maxed out too. But I'm going to do that in a future video. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.